Good day YouTube, Mopar Modeler here. Today I'm going to do a, a review on a resin kit um, made by American Industrial Truck Models out of Egg Harbor, New Jersey. I This kit is of a 86 inch Marmon 86 inch Marmon cab over. Uh, I chose this kit because I want to try to replicate Optimus Prime from the last Transformers movie at the beginning when he is shown as a, a vintage Marmon truck. You first see him in the scene where he's in the old movie theater and, and not running. That is the plan with this truck. And when I ordered the kit, I explained to Dave, the owner of this company, that that's what I was going to do and he was kind enough to throw in extra parts to help me make this this project come to life but today we're going to review the kit that he sent me so I hope you enjoy this review and I will now show you what came in the box Okay, so the first thing that came out of the box is this leaflet. The next thing that comes out of the box is another little leaflet. Inside the leaflet is a piece of clear acetate to cut to make the windows in the truck. The first bag that is I pull out is actually most of the extra parts that was sent to me. This doesn't come with the kit that's advertised on the website. This was extra that was, was sent to help me create, you know, the, the Transformers Marmon truck, Optimus Prime. Well, when I did my research on the, on the cab over truck, I found that they had to have at least had two different trucks. One of the trucks had two whole bud rims and the other had five whole bud rims. And in, I watched the movie, and it seems to me that what you saw mostly was the five-hole bug rims. But when you go online and you look at pictures, you see quite a few with the two-hole two bug rims. So I'm going to use what he sent me to make the two-hole bug rims, and and. They're very crisp, very clean, they're, they're very nice looking rims, very high quality. Um, also, the Transformer trucks had the five spoke split rim, so he sent me these, which is wonderful. I don't have to go rob a kit to get these, now I have them. Um, now the tires he sent me are molded resin, they, you know. I thought about using, you know, rubber tires, but then when I start started to think about the weight of the resin cab and the parts that I'm using, I may go ahead and use the resin wheels because they, they should be able to hold the weight of, of this model, which will probably be quite heavy. So these are the rims and, and, and tires that he sent, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to use them, and I'll probably also do a tutorial on how to build a resin kit, so I probably will use these rims just so that people can see, you know, uh, how it is to make a, a resin tire look more realistic. Um, also came the short fuel tanks, because in the movie the truck has short fuel tanks. Next out of the box is the cab. Um, the cab's very nice. It's got a lot of, of nice details. Again, it's resin, so not everything's perfect. But it's it's very clean. It doesn't have any holes in it like you get sometimes with resin bodies. Um, it has good detail. It's a little rough. Here is the interior tub. It ha The interior tub is... is in very nice shape. It has a lot of detail 
on the dash you know you can actually see the uh the speedometer arms and and everything so this should detail out very very well it's a, it's a very nice uh interior tub in fact it actually goes into the truck quite well and fits very well so you know there's not a whole lot of I don't even think I'll have to worry about trying to fit something to the to the truck because it, it all does fit so very well. In this bag there's several bags but we'll just open this out and I'll move the pieces around to see. Okay so in the bag we have the seats. The seats are very well detailed. They look they look very nice. It has the the air ride part of the seats you know here is the uh, ex here's the air breather that's where in real life on the real trucks the uh, air filters would go inside of there here we have the bumper you know nice looking Texas bumper next thing up is the grill camera focus on that this is the top of the grill. It's a very nice looking grill. It's very detailed, very crisp and clean. Here we have the um, air conditioning unit that goes on the top of the cab. For those of you who are not familiar with old trucks, it used to be that the a AC unit went on top of the cab. Comes with, you know, um, a straight exhaust with the muffler and the uh, muffler guard around it but then it also comes with and even wrote it on there in pencil it also came with a different exhaust tube that I could cut this off cut this part off and add it to here and have the curved style tube this here is the uh, air cleaner cover which would go on on this on the top of this that would be the air cleaner cover. We also have a, a curtain, a rolled up curtain for the inside of the cab to separate the, the driving area from the bunk area. We have here um, two Marmon mud flaps. It has the Marmon emblems, one for the, uh, one for the hood and two for the sides of the cab right here on the cab this spot here under the door is where one of the where you put a marmon emblem at here is the uh, steering wheel headlights this one is the, it's molded and clear and the lenses are part of the housing the housing is also molded and clear very very sharp detail on that here he molded the housing separate from the light lenses so it would be easier to use these you could paint these silver and then put in your your clear lenses and, and make a here we have the steps that would put you inside of the truck and he sent two versions here's here's one version and here's the other version and to see what they would look like on the cab of the truck. Da, 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 da. This version go here. And this other version, the difference with it is instead of going straight down, it curves to more match you know the curvature of the tire so here is the pewter mirrors so here's your gear shift with with a small boot and a knob that's also made out of pewter um, windshield wiper arms and blades here is the uh, air horn it's also pewter here we have a grab handle that actually goes on the front of the cab 
right here where you see those two holes as it was mostly for having something to hold on to as you cleaned your windows in fact a little truck driving knowledge your you would actually put your feet inside of these holes and you know and then hold with one arm that handle this handle on the front of the truck on the on the front of the cab so when you clean your windows you know you didn't just fall off and, and break your head so that's mostly what that is for is something to hold on to while you clean the windshield or if you service the blades on the windshield wipers something people didn't know huh and then here's the uh, the steering column with the uh, turn signal switch and the uh, trailer brake handle this is actually the turn signal here and then you have the trailer brake handle we have the the uh, side marker lights you know the turn signals that would go on the side of the cab your clearance lights you know I hope you enjoyed the review if you have any questions or comments about what you see please leave them in the, in, in the comments and I'll do my best to answer that concludes my review of the Mormon cab over truck I strongly suggest that you visit American industrial truck models they are a uh, they offer so much it's been nice talking to you keep the styrene flowing keep building and remember this is only a hobby enjoy it so have fun building and God bless.